you're mining, right? So you're like collecting the diamonds. I think she described Minecraft, not Bitcoin. I think that's <laughs> Minecraft, actually. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to World of Buzz and today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin. So do our fellow Malaysians know what Bitcoin is? Yes or no? Yes, we know what Bitcoin is. How insulting is that? Of course we know what Bitcoin is. So anyways, we're going to be asking a series of questions to find out how much they know exactly about Bitcoin. First question, who is the father of Bitcoin? Satoshi, someone, something. It's a Japanese, a Japanese guy. guy. Yeah. Really? I thought Bitcoin had no origin. Michelle was pretty close. It's uh, Satoshi Nakamoto. Now, a bit of background to Satoshi Nakamoto. According to a write-up on Yahoo Finance, Satoshi Nakamoto is actually not a real person. It's just a name given right. by people. It can be a single person or a group of people who created Bitcoin. That's sus. So the point goes to nobody. Moving on to the next question. I totally said Satoshi Wata. Hey, Michelle got at least the first. I'll give her the full point. Come on. I'll think Bro. about it. The next question. <laughs> What can you use Bitcoin on? Anything. PayPal, any transactions. Coin, coin. You know, Bitcoin, coin. An African prince. You're goddamn right. You can use Bitcoin for certain purchases depending if that vendor allows if that. If that vendor allows it. Yes. Point goes to Tina's because he got it more accurate. So the actual explanation is uh, Bitcoins can be used as an exchange for money or services. While it is worth a lot, it also has its downfalls. The form of cryptocurrency is a familiar mode of payment on the dark web due to its flexibility and its anonymity. Exactly. We wouldn't know about making shady purchases on the dark web, right? No, nah, we don't. <laughs> Next question, uh, what is mining? It's decrypting encryption, right? <sighs> it's like code that you have to decrypt to get the coin. You're mining, right? So you're like collecting the diamonds. So yeah, you're collecting yeah, Bitcoin. <laughs> I think she described Minecraft, not Bitcoin. I think that's <laughs> Minecraft actually. <laughs> Crypto is kind of kept secure via every device on earth which is kind of sharing that code. So how a bank will like verify a transaction is via their records of your, you know, your transactions. How Bitcoin does it is via straightening out that connection with every PC deciding okay this connect this transaction is valid and it is valid. That's my answer. Yes. From what I understand about mining, it is uh, there is an algorithm in the blockchain where they actually uh, decrypt. Uh, every time someone mines one coin or a few coins, it becomes a half life from what I know. So it gets harder and harder the more people mine. So it takes a lot of energy also as, the, as you mine more. What is mining? Bitcoin mining is the process of which new Bitcoins are entered into circulation. But it is also a critical component of the maintenance. So essentially, Bitcoin miners receive Bitcoin as a reward for completing blocks of verified transactions which are added to the blockchain. In other words, they maintain the whole system. These are the people, their reward is Bitcoin. Um... The next question, how much does one Bitcoin cost as of now? Good question. Actual question. No Googling. I've not opened my uh, my portfolio for two months already since the crash. <laughs> so I've not touched it. 100 USD. 100 US dollars nice. for lava. Michelle, okay, I'll ask Michelle a question. I think it's worth, the answer is worth a hit. When it crashed two months, two months ago, how much was it then? It was uh, about 60. 60k USD. Fluctuating. Now, I'm going with 20k. I was going with like 10k perhaps. I think it's about 30, 35 As oh. of 6 July, when we're shooting this today from home, uh, it is worth 34,645 Point sixty oh, nice. dollars. One. If you're wondering what's that in ringgit, one bitcoin is worth one hundred and forty-three thousand three hundred eighty-seven ringgit. My God. And Lava answered hundred US dollars. It never hit hundred US dollar before. <laughs> <laughs> Last question: What is Dogecoin? 
You dodged the coin. Baba says dodge the coin. Doge coin is a cryptocurrency with the Doge meme as the little thing on the coin. It's actually a recently popular cryptocurrency. People are hoping that shit goes big. That's me. <laughs> It came into existence from a meme of a dog. What dog? Shiba Inu. Yes. And that's all I know. It's really popular and really cute. And Elon Musk approves of it. Dogecoin, yeah, and it's a basically meme coin, known also as a sh** coin. Uh, does not hold any value, but the value is based on speculation. You have to avoid from buying that coin, is it? Not necessary. It's, it's based well, I avoided from buying, but then it went up because people love trolling, you know? So people just keep buying it, so the demand went up and yep. the price went up. Dodge is the meme. Dodge was really started to poke fun at Bitcoin. Today, Dogecoin is no joke, having exploded in value and gained more than 5 5,000% in 2021. Among its boosters is, of course, Tesla CEO Elon Musk, who called Dogecoin his favorite cryptocurrency. And fun fact, Musk also promised to plant a physical Dogecoin token on the moon. Wow. For what? He's rich, he can do anything. Him putting that on the moon makes that coin legit. That coin becoming legit will make him the richest dude on earth. So I think that's the strat here. I see you, Elon. Yeah, we see you. You bought like 90% already. That's why. <laughs> well, there you have it for today's episode. Two people know that Bitcoins, two people clearly do not know what liquidate, liquid, liquid. I don't know what. But, anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, follow, <laughs> and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Everybody say bye. 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 Send me your Bitcoins. I'll, I'll use them. Send me your Bitcoin, all the Bitcoins. <laughs>